Hi, uh, I'm Isaac Berryhill, and my name is Travis Hughes. I'm Dakota Klein. Uh, Josh Pasca. We're the Isaac Berryhill Experience. So if I was to describe our music, it's like if Shoegaze was made in the 60s. We like Phil Spector. As a producer, not as a person. That's true. If I had to tell you my Mount Rushmore of artists, it would probably be the Beach Boys, Mac DeMarco, <laughs> My Bloody Valentine, <laughs> And uh, if I had to pick a fourth one, it'd probably be like, I don't know. The Beatles, hey. Back to Mark was a big one. We knew that we wanted to be a band when Isaac asked us to be in a band. Um, we knew that, uh, I, I personally, I knew that I wanted these guys to play with me whenever uh, I heard them play because they sounded good. I love you, Isaac Berryhill. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we said that you did. My favorite thing about Belmont's music scene is probably the fact that there's so many great artists around me, and it's uh, really inspiring because it makes me want to do better work. Yeah. Honestly, if I'm ever getting ready for a show, whatever band I'm in, whether it be the Isaac Berryhill Experience or Film Models, I just want to. Uh, I just try to let the guys know that I really love them and I really enjoy playing with them because, you know, that's the most important thing at the end of the day. We love you too, Isaac. We love you, Isaac. I love Isaac Berryhill. Our dream show is Isaac Berryhill Experience. It's opening for Weezer. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. I concur. If I had to pick a band or singular artist, dead or alive, regardless, and perform with them, it would probably be with the Beach Boys circa 1966. I would perform with the Beach Boys, or I would perform with the Wrecking Crew in the 60s while they made hit records, but they'd probably kick me out because they're really good. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Thanks. My advice for a struggling band would be to listen to Shoegaze. I don't agree with that. No, I, I, yeah, I honestly can't concur. I'd say... I, I can't concur either, man. I don't agree with that. Honestly, I would say... Uh, no. <laughs> as a songwriter who uh, is putting a band... who put this band together, I would say that the biggest thing is it's never going to sound exactly how you think it's going to sound in your head, but that's honestly a good thing. Like, I never would have pictured that these guys would play what they play, and it's like, it exceeds my expectations in a way, you know? So I'd say, honestly, if you just like, if you're struggling to find your sound, just relax, let the energy flow, let the creativity flow together. And if you can't really find your sound, maybe you shouldn't be a band, but you know. Like after a long while though, like we're playing two songs today. One of them's called Feeling Like a Kid and the other one's called Marilyn. I picked Feeling Like a Kid because it just came out uh, last year in March and I picked Marilyn because it's coming up on my new EP, uh, Taking Out the Trash. It's out right now and uh, both those songs will be on the EP. It's six songs uh, and it's gonna be a good time. Well, I wrote most of these songs no, I didn't write most of these songs. I wrote all of these songs when I was in high school, uh, before I even came to Belmont. And the summer before I came to Belmont, I uh, uh, went to a buddy of mine's shed. Uh, Covey Latham is his name. I went to his shed, and we recorded those six songs. And uh, they kind of sat dormant for a while uh, for a variety of reasons, partly because we were, like, a million hours apart now, so, like, we couldn't really work on them together. And... We did a, I did a few sessions with Travis and we re-recorded one of the songs, Feeling Like a Kid, and we released it. And uh, I thought that the dynamic between me and Travis worked really well. So uh, I said, hey, how about, uh, last summer I said, hey, how about, uh, 
we take all these old demos I have and put them out and make them new. And uh, he concurred with that. So uh, yeah, we uh, we worked on it a little bit uh, over the summer. We worked on it a little this past semester. Um, it was a, it was a fun time uh, mixing the album. And we got uh, our boy Richard De Benedetto to uh, master it too. Certified Daniel right there. Um, yeah, yeah, he is, he is, yeah. yeah. Honestly, the overall message of the EP for me is, uh, I guess whenever I was in the process of making and recording the EP, uh, for a while, I kind of uh, was a real perfectionist, the perfectionist about. Uh, you know, how the songs were coming together and how they were going to come out. But then one time this guy told me, uh, if you have a masterpiece, just go ahead and put it out. You know, like, it's not that deep, he basically. He was a good guy. He was a nice guy. He, he runs a cult now in Arizona, actually. Fun fact. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, I guess the whole process of the EP was just kind of like, overcoming weird head stuff and just putting your music out there and you know getting it going <laughs> we're the isaac berry hill experience um but uh you can find uh my music out under the name isaac berry hill i'm on spotify apple music Tidal, deezer iHeartRadio. there's a lot distro kid puts it out on a lot of platforms yeah I'm all over the place. You can find my Instagram. It's uh, at Isaac Berryhill, I-S-A-A-C, uh, B-E-R-R-Y-H-I-L-L. -L. I got Facebook if people still use that. I don't know. Um, yeah. I love you, Isaac Berryhill.